All right, so Grand Cross starting today. If you log in, you start getting the materials to make a free dog holy relic, even if you've never done dogs before. I mean, you might have to do other stuff or get like pizzas that you might not have, but you know, the dog materials on itself, you're getting all of them. So you don't have to stress about it. And uh, what are the characters that I personally recommend people doing? If you go on dogs, you can actually see what characters have the holy relic so i'm going to be uh sort of like ranking them i have the you can see your list here as we go here and just um be recommending which characters to go for starting from the top we're gonna go with scotty she is pretty good i mean there's a lot of use cases for her i personally really like liked using her until tonar got the relic the moment tonar got the relic it felt like it like a it, it was like same difference where I was using Tonar uh, plus Scotty, you know, before Tonar got the relic because Scotty's um, passive giving damage increase was really nice for fast clearing dogs. But now with Tonar's relic, there's not as much need. I just put on Freyer. So for me, I think Scotty goes on has use. I think it's good. But it's not something that most players should prioritize, uh, being like maybe their first dog relic or something. Uh, I'll just put it right away. Tonar is like the number one. Uh, Tonar, if you have Tonar's holy relic, dogs are a joke. Like, and dogs are farmable now, right? So here's the thing. Dogs are farmable. What I recommend, this is like off the topic, but if, what I recommend is you can clear floor one of this beast. So every single week, clear floor one, you will get two of these, right? Every week. Plus, you can buy from here as well. Every single week, you can buy one as well. So you can get three a week. Eventually, you're going to have enough to make a relic for, I don't know, Lost Vein Meliodas when he gets the relic. So having the ability to farm dogs fast is huge because now it's farmable you can drop the um this material infinitely and the relic that's gonna allow you to farm is tonar tonar makes dogs a joke with the relic without the relic she already make it made it easier right but it, it was like the case where she wasn't jormungandr she wasn't like insane at release but now with the relic she is it's like a noticeable difference you don't need a healer because your, your characters are such high life steal Everything like that. So Tonar is number one. If you don't have Tonar, might consider waiting to pull her. I mean, man, I recommended people pulling for Tonar when her banner came out because it was cheap, right? It was a cheap banner. And she's been on a few banners, like, recently. She was on Mally's banner. I think she was also on Eskrimer's banner. I don't recall exactly. Maybe she wasn't. If you didn't pull her, that's really unfortunate. But, yeah, Tonar is number one. Um... I forgot what comes next, but since we're uh, we're, we're on the Giants, Droll. Droll's Relic is not used for anything, maybe apart from weird Guild Wars teams, which I don't even know. So, Box EC. Just a pretty, pretty bad Relic. And let's just lump up here as well the other Giants. Uh, base DN, same thing. She's just complete garbage. The Relic is... Terrible, absolutely terrible. Do I, even, do I have to tell? Do I have to say what the relics do? They're just terrible. Like they're not. They're not even usable. Uh, so this the end. This the end right here is a different case. So if you're gonna make the relic for this the end right here, the summer one, right? It's garbage. Box CC. But but if you're gonna make it for this the end. If you have the Ragnarok team, like, ready to go, it's actually a very good relic. It's actually a very good relic. But here's the thing, Ragnarok is not very good now. So, output has use. Like, I wouldn't really recommend, but keep that in mind. Now that you've known, now that you know, right? If you can make a Ragnarok team, it's a fantastic holy relic. And it's by itself, right? It's just the problem is that Ragnarok team isn't that good right now. So, um, Matrona. Matrona's relic is interesting because if it was when she came out, it would be more lenient because there was like a PvP team for her. 
But right now, uh, I'll give her this. I'll, I'll give her that. I was gonna give her box CC, but the relic itself is really good. She gives all giants 25% basic stats. Like, it, you can find a niche use for that. Maybe Guild Wars. Uh, but in the game, like, Bird, if you still use Matrona, that doesn't really help you because only you're only giving that to her and stuff like that. It's just not... It's just not really all that. How about we move on to the demons, the demon boys, uh, Zaldris. Zaldris is his relic is super good. If you're still using this Zaldris, I I think it's a very good relic. The ten percent attack related stat lore is super super good. Obviously, it's more of a PvP relic. You're not gonna get much. If I don't know, do you even use it? Zaldris is not a PVE unit. What am I saying? Uh, yeah, obviously it's a PvP <laughs> PvP relic. Uh, really, really good. There's a lot of teams that still use Green Zaldris. Um, so if you are someone that's still using Green Zaldris, hey, um, give this one uh, a look at. Uh, let me just put Chandler in there as well. Chandler's Relic is meta currently. Like, Chandler is more meta than Zaldris right now. You use him on the Mali, Estorosa, Chandler, Zaldris in the back team. The, the blue Zaldris, right? So, his relic is like a must if you actually want to use him just in general. So, his relic is really, really good. So, honestly, the order I would do these is like, you know, obviously go for Tonar first. And then, by making Tonar's relic, by default, you can make all the other relics. That's uh, that's the thing. Uh, Kusok. Kusok is... Where is he? It's okay. I mean, the thing is, Kusok is not a very good unit for PvP, so let's cut that off. But he can do some damage in other stuff. I think it, it has use. Like, you can you can make use out of it, you know, for uh, random stuff where him just doing a little bit more damage is good. So, I mean, there's not much else. He's just, he's just an okay character. Um, Festival King, newest holy relic for this boss. This relic is so nice. Like, it's not a make or break relic the boost that he gets isn't huge 15 percent extra damage which makes the shield like stronger and then the 15 percent basic stats inside gives you know 15 percent attack to units that use attack or defense to units that use defense etc really really nice boost i think because king was already such a good character it just elevates him to just being like a very good relic um but not a must. Again, I think the only must is Tonar. So you already know. Nanash is also very good. Very, very good. Nanash's relic is what relics should be. Nanashi was a character that was unusable. Terrible. Awful. Garbage character. The relic made him top tier. Like, the relic gives 30% basic stats, which is the highest basic stat boost in the game. For a back unit? Not, like, not even comparable. Like, Zelda's is 24, and he has a requirement of the debuffs. Like, he is specific, right? It's unknown only. But you know where you're taking him, right? You're taking him to the unknown team, and you're gonna make it happen. Um, and then, plus the other stuff with, the, with his own passive. Like, this relic is insane. If you have unknown characters laying around, if you have Akidna, Summer Merlin, and you want to make an unknown team, it's a no-brainer. This relic is so, so, so powerful. Without this relic, unknowns are a zero. With the relic, they are an actual competitive team. You're probably still going to lose to most melees, like good melees, but it's a usable team. So here's my list. Here's my recommendation. Tolnar is number one. You're not going to get more value out of any character than Tolnar because right now, right, you're going to get the relic for free. But if you already needed to get this free relic for your first relic, that means you won't be able to do dogs even after making a relic. Like, King's Relic will help you do dogs. But you still need Tonar, right? For that to happen. Tonar's Relic is number one. If you don't have Tonar, maybe wait to pull her. Genuinely. It's just so much better. There's not that many relics to begin with, with dogs. It's not like Bird, where there were so many relics already. Uh, by the time you got the free one. Even Deer. You see how little relics there are, like by my uh, my uh, my my list here. Maybe a way to pull Tonar. I don't know, but by making Tonar's relic, you will make every relic. So there's that.